Hello and welcome back to Super Metroid. This is going to be the last part. Oh no. So, um, I guess uh, we should start by collecting the final items. Uh, we want to get up here. So, what you can do is you can uh, use your space jump to get up here. Or, you could... Uh, do a shine spark. Right about there. Get up here and just play a power bomb. And get in here. Um, yeah, we're gonna have these guys here. They're not a problem now. Ow. Yeah, spikes will still hurt us, even though we have the awesome screw attack. But there's our final uh, power bomb upgrade. And um, I guess now I want to just uh, get a running start here and jump like this, get over to the other side. And you can see there's a, another little secret passage here, um, which holds our final three items. Um, this place is known as the Gauntlet. It's a very, very annoying area, which uh, usually, well, I guess you can do this um, well fairly early like you can do it after um, the wrecked ship but it's so annoying to come here without the, uh, the uh, space jump and the screw attack so I'll just save this until the end of the game it's much easier that way so anyway here's our final E tank and I guess we can uh, Play a power bomb here. Yeah, to put the block there. Um, I mean, you can wait for the lava to uh, go down here, but uh, we have a lot, enough health. But we're trapped here. Oh no! No, it's just fake. So, um, all right. Now, what we want to do here, you want to be careful because there are a bunch of crumble blocks here. And on either side of, the, of these crumble blocks, there is a missile pack. Uh, and I want to get both at the same time, because if you get one, you will have to go through the gauntlet again to do it. So what I want to do is jump and shoot. Get up here, shoot, and stand right here. So I'm in between, like the, the, um, the blocks that are underneath me right now, I'm standing in the middle of the two. Um, jump, shoot down. And it just fall, shoot, get over to this side maybe, or the other side. And that's how you get both of these at the same time. And this will be our final expansion. There we go. That should be 100%. So, yay. Um, okay, there we go. And this will take us to this area, which is really good, because uh, you might remember there's a door here, this red door here. This is actually where we're going right now, so... This will take us to uh, the golden statue with uh, our four bosses. Um, basically, you can come here if you want to, each time you defeat a boss, to see it, you know, the... Uh, the soul of, of the statue or whatever it is, I have no idea really what's happening, but you can see it, you know, go away. Or you can just wait until you have um, have killed all the one yeah, all the bosses, which I always do. There's no point in coming here, you know, after each defeated boss, so um yeah, just wait for the uh, statue to sink and wait for this uh, for the ground to disappear here and this is how we're gonna enter Torian alright the final area of the game um, the uh, Metroids in this game 
are pretty dangerous. Uh, first of all, there's a safe station right there. Use it if you want to. Um, I won't use it. But the thing about the Metroids, I'm gonna let this guy latch on to me. Um, normally you can just bomb and they will go away, but for some reason they're just very annoying in this game. It's like, I don't know, it's hard to get them off you. So try not to get hit or get caught. Well, <laughs> like this. Okay, you're being really annoying now. There we go. What you can do, what I usually do if I get grabbed, is I just leave the room and come back instead of trying to drop bombs because it's not working that good in this game. At least for me. So you can use super missiles or five regular missiles to kill them. We have a lot of super missiles, so. And, you know, using super missiles on um, the final boss is not really that good of an idea. I like to use shard shots, so we can we can spend them here if you want to. And you will you will get back get get them back anyway. You know the Metroids will drop, uh, or the Metroid drops are fa fairly generous. So um, okay, shoot down here, shoot down there, kill that guy, shoot down there, kill that guy, and there we go. Alright, so in here we have side hoppers that we cannot kill. Oh no! We can um, screw, atta screw attack through them, but we won't do anything to them, so. Just pass this guy. Yay! Have a bunch of. Uh, well, creatures, but they're like all. I don't know what to say, I don't, I don't know what the word is. Um, but obviously this is the uh, the baby Metroid. I didn't do any reactions to it, but... Um, there's nothing we can do here. We will latch on to us and we're going to die. So... Uh, yeah. Oh wait. In the last second, the Metroid realized it's Samus. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for getting rid of all my life. It's okay though. Uh, we can refill it right away. So I'd like to open up this door before I go in here. There's, I mean, you can do it afterwards. I just do it before. Um, get our energy back. And you can refill your missiles if you, if you want to. Um, these won't refill your super missiles, by the way, so... But you know we're we're full up on everything except for I'm missing a few super missiles, so it's all all right. It's a space jump through here, shoot that guy, and um, one thing: there is a save station right here. Um, you could use it, but I would advise you to not do it because. Um, uh, we're like at this the point of no return or the point of no return has already passed So if you want to continue play this game after you're uh, You have beaten it or whatever. Maybe if there's some items you haven't found or whatever then If you save here, you cannot get back. So Just be wary of that If you do plan on continue playing after you've completed the game anyway just like in the first game, we have Zeptites and we have um, the Rinkas and everything. Lava. It's just near, not not even close to the difficulty in the first game, though. It's really simple. Um, we're already here. Um, so I'd just like to shoot on the brain. Um, you can switch to super missiles after a while. Ow. Okay, you're getting pretty annoying. There we go. You could freeze the rinkas if you want to, but there's just no point to it. Unless you want a smooth fight, which I don't really care much about. 
Um, but for uh, this fight, I like to use uh, shard shots. 20 will do the trick, or the job, rather. So, is that 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now she started using her special attack. 16, 17, 18. 20. Now I want to take some damage here. Um, you don't have to do it, but um, he's gonna come out with this attack, um, which will hurt you. And I mean, there there are some points in this fight that it's like you know, I. I don't know how to describe it. You know, it's a cutscene basically, so this will happen every every single time. So I just speed it up by taking damage. So because if you don't, then she will continue to use her that uh, that attack, and it'll just take forever. So so while Samus can't move, um, the epic battle is uh, being played out in front of us. This is a very cool scene. But I've seen it way too many times. There's actually a fun glitch you can do here where you can actually take control of Samus during this cutscene and um, hurt Mother Brain. But of course, I'm, I didn't do it here. Oh no, she's coming back to life. What's gonna happen? Hurry, baby Metroid, hurry! Oh no. And there goes the baby Metroid. And we get the uh, rainbow beam or hyper beam or whatever it's called. I'm not quite sure. I'd like to just stand in the corner here. And shoot. You basically won at this point. I mean, I guess you could die here, but the chance of that happening is so slim that it's just. It won't happen. Yay, we won! Uh oh. The obligatory escape sequence. Um, I don't know, I'll just shoot these out and uh, let's go. You have three minutes, which is plenty of time to escape here. Um, we could go up here, but what I'm gonna do instead is charge up to a shine spark and use it right here. That way you can save some time. Um, let's just get under here. I shoot up because there are space pirates there. They can be kind of annoying sometimes. There we go. Um, yeah, let's just try to get up here. It's kind of confusing because, you know, the screen is shaking and everything's exploding, but. It's not that bad. Alright, now we have to climb. Uh oh, the lava's coming! I mean the acid. Crap. Alright. Yeah, I'm being a bit careful here because uh, you don't want to fall. It's just... It's annoying. And I am going to save the animals, so... Hopefully you will be looking forward to it. Whoa. And you have to go down to where the bomb Teresa was in order to do that. Hello my friends. Flee! 
escape. You don't have to watch them escape, you can just leave right away. As long as you shoot out the wall, you should be okay. And now you get your extra um, sprites during the ending. And yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come, oh, come on. There we go. That's Super Metroid. So, yeah. Very awesome game. My personal favorite. Um, so, yeah, now the entire planet explodes. Very epic 16 bit explosion. And we managed to escape, of course. And now you can see the animals taking off. There they went. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, uh, what is my final time? One hour and 44 minutes. Yeah. I mean... It should have been a lot higher, but... Um, since I... I uh, well, my cartridge ate my file. I had to redo it and I kind of sped through to get back to where I was and I basically cut the time in half. Basically when I saved at, um, you know, before the wrecked ship I was at one hour in game time. Uh, but when I uh, played through it again to get back to where I was, I was at um, 28 minutes, so... Not that it matters, um, time... Yo, was not at all re re um, <laughs> relevant in this uh, playthrough. I do like to, um, um, you know, try to beat my personal best in this game. Um, I practiced it a lot. I'm by no means good at it, but yeah, I like to beat my own records, and I have I have some goals that I like to meet. Um, So yeah, it's it's really fun to um, mess around and uh, sequence break this game and learn all the techniques and whatnot that there is. Um, it's really fun, and even if you're not going to you know speed run it or whatever, it's still fun to just learn you know how to wall jump or do the mock ball or whatever, just so you can um, well sequence breaking is fun basically. No matter if you do it for time or otherwise, to play, you know, you're able to play through the game the way you want to. So anyway, that was Super Metroid and my first um, let's play on this channel. Um, things will be pretty slow uh, for the remainder of this year on this channel. Um, I do have a lot of uh, stuff planned, but. It won't start until uh, next year when I have a better. Um, well, I have a better chance of recording my stuff, basically. So, um, yeah, uh, for the the remainder of the year, remainder of the year, um, things will be really slow, probably. I might actually do sort of a walkthrough on how to sequence break this game um, in the meantime. There we go, 100% by the way. See you next mission. So yeah, I might do a playthrough um, or a walkthrough kind of, you know, explaining some tricks to the, to the game and uh, whatnot. We'll see. But for now, I hope you enjoy this, and I hope it will help some of you. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on whatever I do next. Bye.